for uh, at least you know four or five years. There was uh, three Studio Max um, basic and a three Studio Max a three Studio Max design, which was part of the building design suite. So basically, in 2016, they're uh, coming together as one, and they're united for this release. For this release, including the design only features, now in one package. What that means is that things like Siebel View, uh, lighting analysis feature, uh, which allows to perform lighting calculations and, and analysis for uh, both artificial and daylighting, are now part of the one package, which was kind of segregated last time. Uh, at, the same, at the same time, the SDK package was only available for 3 Studio Max, not Mac Design. So now it's all available uh, for the same one platform. So one thing I want to show you is uh, in some sort of hidden gem that most firms don't know they have access to is uh, Civil View, which has been around for a while, and it was formerly known as, Dynamo, as Dynamite VSP. So basically now with 3 Studio Max, we have access to this. And what it is, Civil View is an example of something that we've used in the past for creating uh, projects that require things like traffic simulation or um, just creating uh, fast animations like the one I'm showing you here on the screen. Uh, this one in particular, it was something that we did and it took no, no more than a couple hours to generate. Uh, once you have the geometry, something has, you know, the dealing with the bridges, road marking, street lighting, signs, and animated vehicles, especially the animated vehicles, it's something that comes with the libraries within, within Civil View. And now that's part of uh, 3 Studio Max 2016. So definitely something that um, I know for sure there's a lot of firms that don't even know what it does, what it can do, and how it would apply to the workflow. So if you do work with any type of topography or anything that relates to exteriors where you have roads or you have you know, bridges, highways, you name it, and of course if there's uh, vehicles and you want to create animation, uh, this is by far the fastest way that I've seen to create something that includes a type of uh, elements. 